It was a busy morning in New York City on January second, two thousand seven. Many people were waiting underground for the subway at the one hundred and thirty seventh Street and Broadway station. A fifty-year-old construction worker, Wes Autry, was waiting to take the subway to work. He built houses and buildings. He knew a lot about sizes and measurements, but Wes couldn't make it to his job on that day. After all, it became a very special day for Wes and the people of New York. While Wes was waiting with the other people for his train to arrive. A teenager had a seizure and fell onto the train tracks. At that moment, Wes saw the train coming. He had to make a quick decision and do something. He knew that if he tried to save the teenager, he would risk his own life. But he could not let the teenager get hit by the train. He jumped onto the tracks. Wes heard the train wheels screeching. It could not stop in time. Suddenly, Wes saw a small open space between the rails. He sized up the space in a split second. He knew it was just big enough for two grown-ups to safely fit in. He pulled the teenager and himself into it. The train passed over them so closely that it almost touched Wes's hat. Finally, they were safe. The New York City Mayor gave Wes an award for his bravery. Wes did not know his job skills would ever save a life. People call him the Subway Superman, but Wes said that he saw someone who needed help, and he just did what he felt was right.